What is going on guys and welcome back to another YouTube video and today in this video I'm going to be telling you guys the best formation right now in FIFA 18 because in my opinion this formation is the best guys I'm telling you it works so well but not only that I will be telling you with play instructions and custom tactics that go along with the formation to make it even more overpowered in this game so yeah guys if you guys do want to see this just stay around stay tuned because I'm about to tell you the best advice you'll see I'm telling you guys but yeah before I get into the video don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here and also smash that like button because it's really appreciated guys but uh, yeah without further ado let's get straight into the video as you can see guys this is the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow the best formation in FIFA 18 right now after the new updates and everything but um, that I really think are overpowered as well but that will be shown in a different video guys all right but yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into the player instructions guys so in the player instructions okay i can't do the player instructions because i have to put the players in once i put players in this team i will go ahead and put um the play instructions in okay so guys as you can see i have put the players in my team right now so yeah let's go ahead and get into the player instructions so on your strikers what you want to do in this formation with the playing instructions what you want to do is put support runs on balance with but the attacking runs on getting behind and you just want to leave it as that that's all you want to do is put your two strikers on getting behind guys that's right so they can make those runs forward make those booming runs so on your cam what you want them to do is stay up while attacking so obviously you want them to put stay forward and then that can be left as it is if you like you can put aggressive interceptions that can be that can be changed as long as you like because it doesn't really affect uh, your game too much but for now we can just leave it on normal interceptions now guys on your midfield what you want to go ahead and do on your attacking support is put stay back while attacking on every single midfielder in your team guys and i'll tell you why this is because you don't want your players to push up too much because they've already got their work rates as you can see, like someone like Vidal has got in my team, he's got high, high work rate. So if you don't put him on stay back while attacking, he um, will push up too much. Or stay back while attacking, he will um, go up and down. So he won't push up too much. He'll stay back and then push up when you have the ball. But obviously, when you don't have stay back while attacking, all they do, they stay up too much. And that's not good, guys, because on this game, defending is so important, guys. So uh, yeah, what you want to do is put stay back while attacking on every single midfielder. Because it adds more structure to game and it makes it harder for people to break down your defence. And then, boom, you can hit them on the counter-attack. So, uh, yeah, it's really good. And then on your full-backs, of course, guys, you do want your full-backs to stay back while attacking. Of course, you don't want to leave a big gap in the defence. You need them there. You need that solid defence, guys, all right? I'm sure any pro player you ask will have these player instructions on. They will have stay back while attacking on every single midfielder, guys. I'm pretty sure they will have these player instructions. It really does work well. The best of the best use these for um, use these player instructions, guys. So, yeah, keep these player instructions on. And now, let's go ahead and move on to custom. Okay, so, guys, as you can see, the custom tactics are on the screen right now. As you can see, we have 80 in the build-up play. We have 85 speed. This is because you really want to use you know the overpowered way of playing in FIFA 18 which is Tiki Taka now this really supported Tiki Taka style play in uh, FIFA 18 having fast passing football it just means that your players will um, make runs and have better movement on the ball of course now passing is uh, 30 which is so because your players can space out a bit more to just make more better runs like I said, it's basically got to do with the speed, the higher speed, usually the lower passing you guys do want to have. Now on to chance creation, of course you can see we have 70 passing, 30 crossing and uh, 70 shooting. Now because passing is 70, basically you're thinking why is um, the chance creation on 30 and um, I mean sorry, why is chance creation on 70 and why is build up, build up play on 30? Now this is because Obviously, it's talking about different styles of playing. Chance creation is, do you want to create chances through passing? And build up play is, do you want to uh, create your, your chances through passing? Now, it's different because build up play is more passing around about passing slowly. And you don't want that, do you? Chance creation now is more passing as in, are we going to create chances through tiki tackle passing? Like I said before. So that's why the passing on chance creation is 70. 
and uh, crossing you don't want to have crossing because crossing in my opinion isn't as overpowered on FIFA 18 as you know the tiki stack tiki taka style play um, on FIFA 18 so that's why pass I mean crossing is on 30 and as you can see shooting is 70 because you need more um, shooting, uh, shooting creation you need to create more chances um, from shooting because that's how you're gonna score in FIFA obviously guys so yeah these so far are the play, uh, the casting tactics you guys want to use because it's really effective in the game okay so now on defense guys pressure is 40 because you do want um, you do want the players to just ease off a bit and not go diving in so much because obviously it does create gaps in your team in your defense in your midfield so you don't want to press too much guys all right that is advice that I really want to give don't press too much because it does leave gaps in the defense and you don't want that to happen because it will be easier to split them and easier to get them the opportunity uh, give the opponents more opportunity of uh, scoring a goal aggression is 70 because when they're going for the tackle you don't want them to be too light-hearted you need that aggression there to win the ball because if you if you are going to go diving for a tackle you need to make sure you're going to win it so that's why the aggression is up so you can win the ball and team width is 30 obviously because we're playing the narrow formation we don't want players to go wide we want them to stay a bit narrow um so yeah guys this is it this is the uh, custom tactics but we're not done here what i'm going to do guys is i'm thinking of starting a new series where i do squad builders i do videos like this formations custom tactics playing structures and it's just a series with advice and i will play with the team trying out new custom trying out trying out new custom tactics trying out playing structures and just seeing what's overpowered in this game so if you guys like the idea of this new series then please smash the like button because we really pre appreciate it but yeah, like I said, if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. It's been your boy, RRB Plays, and I'm out. Peace.